Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to create a custom bottom navigation bar in Flutter. In fact, we are going to replicate the bottom navigation bar in this design. Today, we will only recreate the bottom navigation bar. We will do the world design in an upcoming video. Stay tuned for that. So why a custom navigation bar? since Flutter already provides a widget for that. Nowadays, with the trend of screens getting bigger and bigger, it's becoming harder and harder for the users to reach the top of the screen with one hand. Thus, in terms of a UI UX perspective, the designers and programmers need to accommodate this new trend. That means to put as much as navigation at the bottom of the screen. The objective of this video is to give you a basis to work from when you want to create a custom navigation bar. I already went ahead and created a home page with the scaffold widget. And fortunately, the scaffold has a bottom navigation bar property. Let's start by using it. Normally here, we would use the default bottom navigation bar widget provided by Flutter. But since we are going to create our custom one, we will not use it. As you can see, this bottom navigation bar property can take any widget. So we will start by creating a row and inside it a container. The child of this container will be an icon. Let's give the container a height and a width. For the width, we will use the media query of context, size, width. Now the container takes the full width of the screen. Let's give it a color using the decoration property of the container. Now if we want to duplicate the container, we have an overflow. That means we have to divide the width of both containers by 2. If we want to have 3 items in the navigation bar, we need to divide the width by 3, and so on. Ok, now we understand how this works. Instead of having to copy and paste every time we want to add another item, let's extract this part of the code in a method. This method will be responsible to build an item in our custom navigation bar. So now we can pass the icons as arguments to this method. Another important feature of the bottom navigation bar is to let the user know which item is currently active. Let's implement this by adding another argument. Now we can change the color of the containers based on that value, if it is true or false, active or inactive. For this, we'll use the ternary operator. If it is active, the color will be green, else it will be white. Now, we don't only want to give visual feedback to the user, but also to us programmers, we want a way to track the active item, the current selected item. For this, we will assign an index to each item, starting from zero. Also, we will create a state for the widget to track the selected item. Let's call it selected item index. 
instead of using the inactive argument to check the state of an item, we can use the selected item index. If the selected item index is equal to the index of that item, set its color to green. As you can see, it's working as intended. We'll also add the gesture detector on each item to capture the user action. When the user taps on an item, we will use the set state to withdraw the screen and at the same time set the value of the selected item index to the index of this item. We can remove the inactive argument now. Let's wrap this video by completing the design. In the upcoming video, I will extract this code in a widget to make it more reusable. So please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell to be among the first to know when a new video is out.